Good morning, this is Al Vickery at AL Waters Capital in Braintree, Massachusetts, and this is uh, Friday, May 27th, and this is your morning call ahead of the long weekend. Uh, there's really not a lot going on in the marketplace. Investors are really just holding on, waiting for some guidance. Uh, futures are flat. The Dow gained uh, eight points yesterday. Uh, Gold is uh, trading slightly higher this morning, but has been in a tight range. Oil has been in a tight range. Uh, it's up about the uh, just above the $100 mark again this morning, but it's been fluctuating. Uh, stocks pull back earlier in the week, slowly recovering. We we'll probably end up finishing the week nearly flat um, because there's just too many real just problems and uh, questions that remain unanswered in the marketplace and uh, really around the globe uh, politically uh, and in the uh, financial world as well. We've got the uh, head of the IMF uh, sitting in uh, house arrest, a very nice bachelor pad down in Manhattan right now while we kind of wait out and uh, determined, uh, determine who will be the next leader of the IMF, which really comes at a, a bad time while Europe struggles uh, with its sovereign debt crisis and uh, you know having a piece of leadership mi missing from the equation is uh, kind of disturbing for some investors uh, in Europe in particular. Uh, Asia was mixed again last night. The Nikkei, which uh, had some gains earlier in the week, gave them back. Uh, China, uh, the Shanghai Composite's been drifting lower investors still kind of fretting about uh, high inflation, the economy showing some signs of cooling off a little bit, which is what policymakers were looking for, but of course investors aren't too thrilled about the concept. Um, so we really just have too many issues out there and uh, very little clues as to their resolutions. So we're probably going to be faced with uh, some real sideways movement in almost all markets uh, with exception of the dollar which has been more weak than strong um, and that could actually worsen. Uh, GDP came in a little lower than expected in yesterday's report and so did jobless claims disappoint. They came in uh, up again. Uh, so it's really just a lot of weak sentiment out there. Just the fact that the uh, markets are, are holding up as they are is uh, an interesting uh, fact because uh, you know investors really want to buy in but they're waiting it out and uh, you know things could be worse based on some factors. Uh, banks are doing well in Europe this morning because apparently there's some new legislation in the works that'll get them around some of the Basel III requirements. The banks are uh, under this uh, new directive are supposed to increase the capital that they hold, but legislation being worked out right now may allow them to more or less fudge the numbers a little bit, include some more of their insurance company, uh, their insurance units capital into their overall capital. And it's really just a uh, accounting gimmick, uh, but it'll help boost their um, ability to make, meet these requirements. So not necessarily a good thing or a, a good accounting of the health of the banks, but investors are taking it positively uh, this morning. Uh, Lloyd's and some of the uh, major UK banks in particular are up uh, as much as 25 to 3%, which has boosted the overall markets there. So as I said, it'll be uh, really a lot of sideways trending for most categories. Commodities should fare pretty well. Gold will have a slow upward trend. The dollar will have a slow uh, weakening trend. But otherwise, uh, we're really going to stay in a tight range probably for the next few weeks. So enjoy this uh, long Memorial Day weekend, and we will see you again on Tuesday. Have a good day.